uh, hi friends back with another video in the last part of the video we have learned about the uh, reservoir model 2 with the uh, uh, overflow structure with the illustrative sketch and as we mentioned as i mentioned in the last video i will i will show you the tutorial to model the reservoir to outflow structure in the hack hms so initially uh, you need to go to this component create component and uh, uh create a basin model so i will uh, name the basin model as basin one and uh, so here the basin comes and and to model the reservoir with two or flow structures so for initially we, we need to define the catchment first after the catchment we need to define the reservoir there after the downstream node okay so first i will define a uh, catchment so that is sub basin uh, sub basin uh, tool from the hack hms um, initially i will draw a sub basin so i'll name this as sub basin as sub basin and uh, later i will uh, create a reservoir at the downstream downstream of the catchment so this is the reservoir and after this reservoir i will create a downstream junction okay okay so downstream junction i have created three of the element i have defined the sub basin the reservoir and the junction and uh, okay so first i will go to this uh, uh, sub basin and uh, define the downstream now of the sub basin is the reservoir one so i will define that for the sub basin one so sub downstream of the sub, uh, sub basin one is the uh, reservoir one later i move to reservoir one and uh, the downstream of the reservoir is the junction okay all right so we have defined our uh, uh, initial ge geometry creation for the hack hms that is the from the sub basin catchment the flow is routing to the reservoir from the reservoir the uh, the uh, the or the outflow will be discharging through overflow structure to the downstream that is the junction one okay so we have defined our uh, uh, geometry in the package hms now um now move to move to this uh, catch basin so i will define the catch basin area as uh, i will take a random area so four square kilometers and uh, for the reservoir so reservoir i will use the reservoir as routing method as a uh, outflow structures okay and uh, storage method we so we will use the area elevation uh, area elevation uh, to uh, define the outflow at the downstream and uh, the storage capacity of the reservoir okay and i will consider the inflow is equals to outflow as a initial condition so if we select this in, uh, inflow is equals to outflow um, uh, condition so initially uh, so during the initial period of the simulation it uh, it uh, based on this inflow of from the catchment it calculates and uh, uh, find out the pool elevation of the reservoir so based on the pool elevation of the reservoir the outflow structure starts operating and uh, discharging uh, the flow to the downstream so this is the mechanism of the initial condition uh, when we assign inflow is, uh, is equals to outflow all right <coughs> okay so now i will uh, assign the sub basin characteristics here uh sub basin characteristics for the transform method hydrograph so 
I will consider some uh, random lag time here so 25 minute I will consider it so it's a, a demo model okay and similarly for the loss this is curve number I will consider it as a 85 and initial abstraction I will consider it as a 10 it's all randomly I am uh, assigning this data so just uh, to show a simulation and how it is uh, been done in the uh, how it can be done in the hack HMS okay so we have defined the sub basin the reservoirs so reservoirs we need to define the type of the outflow structures okay so here i will define the outlets so one outlet so one outlet would be would be the uh, culvert and uh, the another outlet would be the spillway okay spillway with the uh, sluice gate operating okay so we have defined the reservoir with the uh, overflow structures now try now we have to add the uh, details of this outlet uh, structure uh, outflow structure so first i will go to outlet one so outlet one is the culvert okay and direction main okay and i will uh, select the number of barrels as one as it is the shape as a circular pipe and the uh, type of the pipe is the circular pipe culvert and i will co consider a, the scale as uh, the condition as this square, square edge uh, entrance with the head wall okay so now i will define these parameters that is the uh, culvert opening barrel length and uh, uh, this uh, this discharge coefficient for this pipe culvert so i will i already created the excel for it so for the length it is uh, uh, 5 kilometer sorry uh, length is 5 meters uh, diameter is 1.5 meter the initial elevation of the reservoir so initial elevation of the reservoir i have sorry inlet sorry i am sorry this inlet inlet elevation of the uh, ele elevation that is that not, this nothing but the the uh, invert of the pipe barrels at the inlet this is the pipe uh, uh, in invert level of the pipe at the inlet of the culver culvert barrel okay uh, it is 48 48 and the at the outlet uh, at the outlet of the culvert barrel the the invert level is uh, 47.5 and the manning roughness coefficient for the concrete pipe it is 0 0.014 0 0.014 the entrance and the exit coefficient so the exit coefficient is 1 entrance coefficient is 0 0.2 0 0.2 is, is the uh, entrance coefficient and uh, exit coefficient is 1 so this uh, entrance coefficient point 0.2 is taken from the uh, type of the culvert material so it varies uh, with the conditions of the uh, the culvert inlet uh, how is the arrangement at the uh, the uh, the uh, entrance of the culvert barrel okay that's the inlet entrance of the culvert barrel all right and uh, so we have defined all the parameters for this uh, uh, culvert outlet so now move to spillway so spillway i will mention as a one gate that is the uh, sluice gate and the it's a broad crested wear i'm assuming so broad crested wear i have the dimensions of the broad crested wear um, length is 3.5 elevation is 49 and the co discharge coefficient is 1.5 okay I'll define it here length length is 3.5 sorry elevation is 49 length is uh, 3.5 gate 1 coefficient of discharge it's uh, 1.5 uh, 